Hi friends, it's Sarah from ruffelsandrainbaits.com and today we're at the beach and we're going to make some clay pot mushrooms. If you'd like to make them, stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here crafting with me. Now, if you've been here before, you know that is not my yard in Seattle. We are at the beach house and Angela, my friend, it wants to make mushrooms to go along with this guy. A couple of years ago, I shared how to make a very easy garden gnome and she painted hers red and teal. So she brought those exact paints with her and we gathered everything up and you can see those are not my hands. Miss Angela is actually doing this tutorial. To get started, we're just going to need some paintbrushes, E6000, paints, a couple of terracotta pots, and for each pot, you're going to use two pot saucers. So Miss Angela is a little nervous during this while I'm filming, so please give her a little bit of love down in the comments section below. She's not a big crafter, but she's trying to do a little bit more and more just to get her mind off of other things. And if that's you, I don't know, I think we should give her some support, right? All right, so she's just going to start out by covering both of the pots in a chalk paint. If you're at home, I recommend spray painting these because I'm lazy. All right, so next up, while those dry, we're just going to be painting the tops. And she actually stopped right there and said, oh my goodness, this red looks amazing. And it does. So the terracotta will soak up a little bit of the color. And if you're using lighter colors, I actually recommend you do a base paint coat of white. Uh, and you're going to see why everything doesn't work as smoothly as this beautiful red. She ended up doing two coats of red. You can see what it looks like up there on the blue. Look at this. Yeah, we came to this after lunch and we meant to paint it white, but we didn't. We forgot. We were having a good time. We're at the beach, y'all. So you can see this one actually took three coats of paint, especially for the top saucer, because um, it, just, it just soaked up the paint and it was a little splotchy. For assembly, she's just going to use E6000 around her top brim uh, of that pot. So there's two ways you can assemble this. You can do it upside right like she's doing here, or you can do it at the top left is how I did mine, where I just put the E6000 along that top ridge and then set the saucers on top of that. To make sure she lined them up straight, she just flipped over the saucer and lined up the pot there. And then she held both pieces and flipped it over. She was a little nervous about this. You can do it. Good job. <laughs> All right, so to attach the top saucer, you're just going to put a little E6000 around that top edge. If you do have any E6000 slip out or like kind of goop its way out, just wipe it off, especially before it dries, because you will be able to see it if it's still there. You can see up in that top left, we're going to have to wipe that off. And now she's going to decorate. She appropriated one of the kids' daubers from their paint kit, and we're just putting spots all over. I like how she varied it where some of them are like really thick and fully covered and then other ones are kind of see-through like they're a little rustic and they've lived a good life, you know? All right, so for the second one, she just did the exact same thing. She's going to put E6000, flip it over, get it centered, and then put E6000 on the edge of the saucer and place that right on top. When she was painting this one, she had also you know, shared the children's pencil. And in addition to the large white uh, little spots, she put these cute little pencil eraser spots on there. I love that. Might have to go back and change mine. All right, so we're gonna leave that for 24 hours. The next day we sprayed it with this UV resistant matte spray paint. This stuff is magic. I love it. I use it on my rocks when I do rock painting and I used it on this guy and he's still going strong few years later. I'll put the link to this guy below, but below, why don't you tell me, what do you think of this quick craft? Super fun, super easy. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, please share, and please subscribe for more crafty fun.